Hello everyone, my name is Minisetti. I hope you all are staying healthy. Today we are going to talk about Cournot model of oligopoly. This model is given by French economist Augustin Cournot. Cournot considers the case when there are only two sellers or we can say that Cournot model considers the case of duopoly. But we can apply this model when there are more than two sellers. In this model, Cournot basically tells us how two firms compete with each other when their product is identical or we can say that this model basically tell us how two firms compete with each other when their product is exactly same and in this model firm act by thinking that their competitor firm will not change their output they will keep their output same few things you need to remember about this model First thing is that here we assume there are only two forms A and B and their product is exactly same. In this model we assume their product is mineral water. And third most important thing you need to remember about this model, each firm will produce half of market demand. Each firm will produce half of market demand or we can say that each firm will produce less than market demand but why firm will produce less than market demand. As we know if production or we can say the supply is less than demand, price will remain high. If price is high means profit of firm will high. So in order to earn more profit, firm will produce less than market demand. Now we clearly understand this model with the help of one example. Here we assume we have only two firms, firm A and firm B. And initially we also assume total market demand is equal to 1. A start production. As we earlier discussed, each firm will produce half of market demand. So A will produce equal to 1 over 2. Total market demand is equal to 1 and half of total market demand is equal to 1 over 2. That's why production of A is equal to 1 over 2. As A start production profit increase, to see increased profit of A be enter in the market. So now available market demand is equal to 1 over 2 because initially total market demand was equal to 1. 1 over 2 A is already producing. 1 minus A, 1 over 2 is equal to 1 over 2. So we can say that now available market demand is equal to 1 over 2 but B will produce half of total market demand as we earlier discussed each form will produce half of total market demand. So half of 1 over 2 is equal to 1 over 4. So production of B is equal to 1 over 4. As B increase production, supply increase but demand is constant. As a result price and profit fall. As profit falls, so in order to increase profit, A decided to reduce production. He will plan his production from starting. So initially total market demand was equal to 1 and 1 over 4 B is already producing as we earlier discussed. 1 minus 1 over 4 is equal to 3 over 4. So we can say now available market demand is equal to 3 over 4 and A will produce half of total market demand as we earlier discussed each firm will produce half of market demand and half of 3 over A4 is equal to 3 over 8. So A will produce equal to 3 over 8. You can see production of A has reduced. Initially A was producing 1 over 2 but now he is producing 3 over 8 means production of A has reduced. As A reduced production supply fall but demand is constant as a result price and profit increase and to see increase profit in market B decided to increase production now available market demand is equal to 5 over 8. Initially total demand was 1. Now B also pla plan is production from starting. Now initially total market demand was equal to 1. 3 over 8 A is already producing as we earlier discussed. 1 minus 3 over 8 is equal to 5 over 8. So we can say that now available market demand is equal to 5 over 8 and B will produce half of total market demand and half 
half of 5 over 8 is equal to 5 over 16. So, B will produce equal to 5 over 16. Initially, B was producing 1 over 4. Now, B is producing 5 over 16. You can see production of B has increased. As B increased production, supply increased, demand is constant. As a result, price and profit fall. So, in order to increase profit, A will reduce production. As A reduce production, profit will increase. As profit increase, B decided to increase produ uh, production. And you will see here, A will continue reduce its production, but B will continue to increase its production. And this process will continue until both will produce 1 over 3 and 1 over 3. Or we can say that this process will continue until production of each firm will become equal to each other. Now we understand diagram of this model. Here we assume there is only two form A and B and they are producing exactly same kind of product and in this model we assume their product is mineral water from A enter in the market means in starting from A start production. So this dotted line represents margin revenue curve of the firm and this line DD represents demand curve and here we assume total market demand initially total market demand is equal to OD. This part this whole part OD OD represents total market demand. And firm A will produce half of total market demand as we earlier discussed each firm will produce half of total market demand. Production of A is equal to OQ which is half of total market demand. Total market demand is OD and half of total market demand is OQ which is production of A. And price is OP. As firm A start production profit increase to see increase profit of firm A B enter in the market. Now available market in market demand is equal to QD. Total market demand was O D O Q A is already producing now available remaining demand is only Q D and B will produce half of Q D because as we earlier discussed each firm will produce half of total market demand so production of A B will you can see production of B will this Q B and this this C B is a marginal revenue curve. This dotted line represents marginal revenue curve of the B. And B will produce this part QB which is half of available demand QD. You can see as B enter in the market price for price fall OP to OP1 as price fall obviously profit fall profit so in order to increase profit A will reduce uh, production as A reduce production profit again increase and to see increase per profit B is uh, increase per increase production as we earlier discussed same example A will continuous reduce production but B will continuous increase production and this process will continue until their production will become equal to each other and this is all about a corner model i think you got it and thank you so much for watching this video bye take care